Got the lag to get now. I already know the children in relation. I got gaggly for day. I'm all a bitch for how much chat there. My name is Aaron Adichu Jr. I am an embroiderer, painter, cook, and recently weaver. What I'm known for is um, paintings. It's a little bit more different. It's a little bit more modern if you really dig down to the different type of techniques, the colorations that I use. It just all stems from a little bit of taking from just hints of classical art and a little bit of modernism from Jackson Pollock to Van Gogh's coloration and use of color theory. Sort of bridging that gap between a little bit of modernism with the colorations, acrylic transfers, um, a little bit the galaxy type scenes, the moisture is kind of taken from the ethereal. And then bridging that gap with traditional figurations such as Kachina figures or animals. Stories are what help drive my artwork because, like I said before, symbolism is... I use a lot of it in my artwork. That's what helps bridge the gap and then also helps tell the story that way when I see people and see the younger generation, older generation, and when they ask these questions, I'm able to point to different things in the paintings that help tell the story that way when they buy it or when they take it home or save it on their computer, they're able to regurgitate what I've told them and help keep that tradition of, that oral tradition alive and help um, ensure that our culture doesn't get lost or misinterpreted. I talked to a lot of artists and the younger generation at like different art shows and it's nice to hear that uh, my artwork has actually inspired them to start pursuing painting. Kishin, my name is Candace Kwong. I'm a painter and boarder. I've been learning how to weave too, so that's also a new thing I've been doing. Actually, I started drawing and painting. That's kind of as where as art comes from. That was like my first love. Okay. So I probably started like around five years old. And when my parents would, to go, would go to art shows, they would have these paper bags and I would just kind of draw on them for like customers. So, and that's when recently some of my, like my parents old buyers, they brought like a paper bag I used to draw on mm -hmm. from what they got. Like, oh, I have your first artwork. And like, <laughs> <laughs> That's like, cool. ah. <laughs> a little embarrassed. I haven't taken art seriously until I came back home from college and that's where we started off. So as far as inspiration go, I draw from Zuni culture as a whole and just where life has taken me up till now and what I hope to to be in the future. That's what I usually get my paintings from. Ideally what I want is to learn more things. That's what I love to do. I love to learn. So I would love to learn weaving, more weaving, painting. I love to learn a whole bunch of other things. So I would love, and in the course of that, I know it's natural just to have things blend together. So I know things will just kind of happen on its own. So.